first, fighting out of the red corner, please welcome Bradley Owen. and it's our first B-class fight of the evening. Carsten, would you care to explain to any of the, the newer fans what the entails in the B-class? So B-class is striking standing to the head, but when you hit the floor, it is only ground and pound to the body. No headshots on the floor. Now, I know that Lionel, being from my hometown, is quite the physical specimen. Yeah, he's one of your boys, isn't he? He's friends of friends from the local gym, but I always hear about the phenomenal strength it and looks ferocity. like he's using that strength right now. He's got a Kimura locked up on uh, Mr. Owen's very left arm. way of attacking it. Yeah, definitely. He's got it locked up, and if he can uh, pop it around Bradley's back, he could be in trouble. Yeah, he looked like he was going to be put on his back and and controlled from the top position there, but it's he's close. The it's nearly popping out. I can see the red glove at the side of the body. 
It is close. I say it's early on where, when you're still dry, you can get that grip. Yeah, definitely. He's got, got to be careful not to get. Still there, still, still going, going from the bottom. Relentless. It's a lot harder to get from the bottom, but it's still possible. He's got the half guard position, so he's still got it. Bit of a stalemate here, battle of attrition. Still trying to crank this uh, Kamara on, using he's it to using sweep it to now. Sweep. Excellent sweep, excellent he's use. Still going for it, he's and he's still got it now it. from the top position. Get a bit more leverage there, but and he's taking the back. straight to the back. Oh, he looked like he was gonna gonna tee off there, obviously being a B class. Yeah, great positioning. No strikes to the head on a B-class. And back up to the feet. And back to the feet. And he's got Lani a ball again. It looks like he's got it this time. Lani Not like he had vicious. it. He's been talking that arm for the, the entirety of this fight. Bradley is doing well, though. Defending it. Tying him up. It looks like he's behind he's the back the now, though. This could be it. tight. Bradley's doing well though to defend yeah. it. He can grab his own shorts, he can't grab yeah, his opponent's can't grab shorts. Your opponents. So he is allowed to he grab won't. his own shorts, which he is this doing now to try and defend. His grip's getting He's torqued gone. away though. This, this is, could be this it. This could be it. He's hanging in there. Bradley's doing really well. And he landed some ground and pound to the head. Yeah, there. there's some ground and pound to the head. This is a B-class fight. Got to be careful with that. Yeah, just a warning at this stage. You think is the right course of action? Unfortunately, a lot of people don't train B class in the gym, so you know you get in that situation where there's a shot to the head and obviously in the gym you can throw it when you get into the cage and you start fighting at a B class level absolutely. it's an automatic thing just to just to throw it and I think that's what happened there absolutely there's no malice behind it it's just one of those things absolutely the heat at the moment now I've seen Lionel striking before I believe his last fight he won with a with a TKO or if, if it wasn't the TKO, it was certainly some heavy strikes to set up a submission. Yeah. No, it was a, a TKO in the yeah. in Oxford. I'd like to see him use a bit that more fight. of that. He definitely appears to have the, the physical advantage in this fight. In the court in the corner, we have the RPM AA guys. As Maka White is fighting against the opposite cornerman, Rob Masters fighting for the national title later on this evening. So first round, you know, not a lot of action standing, a little bit. Um, mostly the whole round was dominated by Lano Alexis with that Kamara grip. So I would expect the judges to go with him for the win for the first round. Second round, what would you like to see? I'd like to see L Lionel letting his hands go a bit more, to be honest. I'd like to see, I know he's got those hands. I, say, I think he has the physical advantage in this fight. Yeah, yeah, he's a really long fighter. And we've seen him in the past when he throws that one-two, it is a really long one-two, so he could use that yeah. really well. Open up with a couple of nice low kicks, though. Yeah, he looks like he wants to throw leather now. Yeah, and there's that straight, straight left, straight down the pipe. Up. Bradley nearly getting the takedown, Lionel straight straight back to his feet. Yeah, up against that cage, using it well. Back up to the feet. And he's going for that Kimura again. He likes it. Yeah, from this like position, Alexis take can take the back from standing. If Very he does, flexible. he's got the leg locked in already. Bradley defending well, though. Bradley needs to square himself up so he can get a nice double leg. 
quick pause for putting the gum shield back in. Yeah, a little. Bradley trying to get this takedown here. Good balance from Lionel. Yeah, good takedown defense from Lionel here. Again, Owen with the pressure here. Yeah, Lionel with the. Uh, be careful block with that clinch. knee going to the head there. Yeah, make sure it goes to the body and not the head. Lionel, Lionel keeps trying to take that back. But yeah, he's, he's trying to sneak around the back from standing, but. Bradley's he's tying that leg up with both arms. That's it. There we go. Nice right hand on the brake yep. from Lionel. He landed nice right hand the left. Lionel. Lionel looking. Letting his hands down go on, now. Biting down on his gum shield and letting it. Letting the That's leather it. flow. Lovely sprawl as well. Bradley dropping in desperation for that double leg. Lionel just sprawls and pushes him off. Nice and easy. Big Lionel head goes kick. The high, high kick. And he's dropping for that guillotine. Dropping for the guillotine. It's hard to finish though from the side control. Yeah, Lionel's in side position. He's definitely not going to finish it from here. I think a lot of the casual fans getting a bit too excited over this, not realising that he doesn't actually have the pressure to be finishing the fight. Yeah, you need to be in half guard at least to get the guillotine. There's no way you're going to get it from side control. Again, this Unless is Unless he's got a squeeze like a hawk. I was going to say, this is generally quite a common position to see in a lot of the amateur amateur fights. But we haven't seen much we haven't seen much of it at all so no, far. No, I don't think we've even seen a guillotine attempt uh, except Lionel for this one today. He's got to be careful to not land that ground pan otherwise to the face, otherwise he could lose. Yeah, lose good transition. End up in mount now though. Remember there's no ground pan to their head, to so now. nice shots to the body there. Stick it. Lovely takes the back. Left the neck could out. Run the this neck could be neck it. Out. Could be him, he's only got ten seconds though. I think we've seen the end of the round. Survives. Again, it was quite an even round. Lionel, nice and relaxed, comes out. Nice right yeah. hand, though, by Bradley. Yeah. Bradley came in, landed a nice one. Lionel looks very intense. Doesn't look like a man who's going to be easily phased. He swings that big, big right hand as a club. Bradley shoots him for the plunging double takedown. Oh, nice Superman punch Takes there. there. Superman, beautiful. Lovely timing. Bradley gets, gets a nice single leg now. though. Might have fallen into a triangle if uh, yeah. Lionel can get his left leg out. No, Lionel. straight to guard, half butterfly. Lionel was very quick to throw his leg up there. I'd like to see Lionel to only get back to his feet here. Yeah, absolutely. He was definitely having his way standing. I and mean, I think he may well be ahead two rounds now, but may not be. They say the first one was. You never know with the judges. Everybody sees things differently. Now Bradley's just trying to hold so, him down at the moment, but he's powering through. Yeah, great work to get us back to standing. Right, well done. Well done by Bradley, though, turning yes. the corner. Nice little takedown into half guard. Lionel using Lionel's that underhook really very well strong there. Guy. I'd like to see him get his back up against the cage though. Bradley might be going for the guillotine again. He's trying, like to he's trying to lock it underneath lock the that hands. chin. Yep. Again and then Lionel control, twitches though. the corner on Bradley. Now he's on top. Corner shouting, screaming for Lionel to use knees. There we go. Real shortly. Good, another good knee to the body, and again, knee on belly now. That's it. Want to score as many great points body as shots can. as well here. Just got to be careful standing not to. Standing up, backs away. Straight back to standing. Yeah. Nice no, short, got. short, sharp shots there. Nice and fast, making Bradley back up. Snaps that head back with a jab. A nice one-two. Bradley shoots under again. The stand-up of Lionel has been very solid. Yeah, nice and clean and crisp. Everything's been thrown with enough intention that you can't just walk through it. Good take down, down by Bradley Owen, though. Well, Lionel straight back to his feet. It's like a jack in the box, this kid. Yeah. 
Again, Bradley's been dominant on the grappling in this round, but hasn't really landed much with it. Now he's had a couple of good takedowns, but that's it. He's not really done much damage. Lionel's definitely done more damage in the third round, even though Bradley definitely won the grappling. Another fight goes the distance. Let's see how our judges score it. Congratulations, buddy. Well done for the win. Your winner, Dino Alexis. 